Hey everybody, it is Joe with the Beer Bros. Uh, if you've been keeping along with our social media, our podcast, and Rob's video yesterday, we are doing the uh, Illinois Beer Racket, so I'm here to give my first set of matchups. Uh, as Rob said on the last video, we are doing this based on label design. It's just way too difficult to be doing these things based on taste I and mean, smell, maybe, but I don't feel like cracking open a bunch of different beers and having to drink them, so... Uh, we're going to do that, just make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, plus, this, I think this is probably supposed to be done throughout a day, but Rob and I are stretching out for content reasons. You know how it is. Uh, so we are doing the Illinois Beer Racket. Here's my bracket right there. Uh, we're going to be right. doing the right side. Uh, yeah, my right side. Just make sure directions are right. Uh, my right side of the bracket. Uh, the plan round for it. We're going to be having four matchups here. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Um, just keep checking out our social media. We're going to continue to do this uh, for the next few weeks, and then Rob and I will uh, will have our final four. We'll do a whole video together talking about our final four, and we'll probably end up drinking those and giving our our reviews. But uh, let's let's get to it. I don't want to be doing like a twenty minute video on this. Doesn't need to be. Uh, let's take a look at our first matchup here. We have uh, from <clears throat> Oswego Brewing Company. We have. Pick and Tropics, and from Temperance Beer Company, we have Title Track. So let's take, let's get a good look at the, the two beers here. Um, let's see. I mean, it's all subjective. Everybody has different tastes. Uh, I like a little bit more pizzazz with some of my cans, uh, especially ones I don't know. I'm probably contradict myself many times during this thing, but whatever. It's my bracket. If you want to do your own, make your own bracket. I don't care. Um, let's see. So what I kind of like about the pick of tropics here, it kind of looks like, like kind of like a watermelon kind of look. You got like the little dots here. Makes it look like the seeds. You got that. And then you got like kind of the, uh, I guess probably like, like a little like straw hat kind of deal. And then the temperance, it's very simple. Uh, you got kind of the, kind of like a line eye colors, uh, blue and, uh, it's not the best lighting down here. Uh, but you got the orange and blue. Simple looking, but not, I mean, both are pretty simple looking. It's not really anything to write home about with these. These are why they make their own playing rounds. Winner-wise, I'm going to go Temperance, uh, title track. I think it just uh, has a better kind of just classic look to it. I think uh, I think it's going to pop out a little bit more. The other one, you know, you're going to have to look a few times to see it, but I think this one, it's going to catch your attention right away. It's simple, but... Uh, the color scheme and kind of how it pops, I think, works a lot better for it. So, moving on to the next round will be title track. This one gets the dubious honor of playing probably my favorite, uh, favorite. but we'll get to that in a few, a few episodes later. Alrighty, our next one. We have Alistair IPA from Haymarket Brewing, and then we have from, let's see, where is this from? Church Street Brewing. We have Chuck's Porter, so I think we can take a look at that. Got like it's kind of like the battle of characters here. We got the you know, creepy sailor dude from Alistair. Kind of like a little zombie look to it, to be honest. Um, then we got this guitar, uh, guitar strutting old guy with a uh, gray beard. Looks interesting. Um, this is the only beer from the pack that I I've actually had. So, uh, but that's not going to take into effect because you know we can't. Uh, what I like about this can is just kind of the cool character. The color is pretty nice, but outside of that, it's kind of bland. So, um, and then what I like about this one here, I like the kind of different color scheme, kind of a little psychedelic vibe to it. You got the guy strutting the guitar. I think that's going to probably catch your eye a little bit more. It's it's different than from what other things do. Uh, so I think it's a pretty easy choice for this one. Chuck's Porter will be moving on to the next round. So. Hey, congratulations, Church Street Brewing. All right, two more matchups to go. Let's take a look here. We have Reprise IPA from Ontour Brewing Company, and then from Eris Brewing, uh, Eris Brewery and Cider House, we have Van Van Mojo. Uh, let's take a look at Reprise. Not really a lot to say about it, so it's kind of got the hop in the design here, purple hop with the, the white fringes. Not really a whole lot. Uh, the font's kind of cool looking, but uh, 
the, I don't know if this is Eris' logo. Probably is. I, I don't know what Eris is. I think it's like a Greek goddess. Who knows? Um, but I, I do like the kind of purple look to it. You got like kind of the interesting shapes to it. Uh, I think this one's probably going to stick out a little bit more than this one. I think it's just very basic. Uh, so I'm going to give the edge to Van Van Mojo. Uh, the name helps too. It's a pretty cool name. Not going to lie. Kind of like uh, Voodoo Mama Juju from The Office. Mixing these up. Can't do that. So congratulations to uh, Van Van Mojo. And let's get to our final matchup here. We've got from Banging Gavel Brews. It is Red Handed Irish Style Red Ale versus, uh, where's this from? Roaring Table Brewing Company, Whirly Caster. So let's take a look at these. Uh, this one, another kind of just basic. You got the, uh, the hand and cuffs guy, probably because, you know, being in Gavel, if you put him in jail, that sucks. Um, decent looking color. It's a little bit kind of like a blood orange kind of look to it, I think. Uh, but that's, I mean, nice simple looking can you look at the whirly caster i don't know if i really like the color scheme i'm going to be honest uh the green and orange doesn't really mesh well to me but i do like kind of the cool little whirly thing i, I, I forgot maybe it's what it's called a whirly caster i don't remember maybe pinwheel who knows um but uh you know both are kind of plain i, I think if i you know I've kind of made this judgment before a lot of times on the podcast and everything. Usually it's what's going to catch my eye. I'm going to have to give the edge to Whirly Caster. I think the, the design's probably going to probably catch my eye a little bit more. It's going to give me a second look at it. So uh, Whirly Caster, congratulations. You will be moving on as well. So let's recap here. Our four moving on to the next round. We have Temperance Brewing Company, or sorry, Temperance Beer Co. Beer Co title track. Uh, we've got from Church Street Brewing, Chuck's Porter, Eris Beer and Brewery and Cider House, Van Van Mojo, and of course, Whirly Caster. So those are the four. Uh, keep a lookout for Rob's video. I think that's coming uh, probably around the same time this video is coming out. And uh, keep a look on our social media. We're going to keep, keep you guys updated. Uh, New episode of the podcast is dropping tomorrow. We're doing uh, Oberon Day, so be sure to check in there. Uh, you know, leave a comment. Think about you know if you want to say that I got I got it wrong. There was a better uh, there was a better thing out there. Hey, it's all subjective. So um, I'll be back either tomorrow, Friday. Who knows? Uh, I'll be back at some point to do the other play-in games. But till then. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, keep it easy, guys. Thank you.